Hello everyone, we're back with this week's installment of Wakona Weekly. We hope you have enjoyed this week as the weather has started to improve. This week I have a story about the very recent meeting seniors had for Senior Assembly. I have a spotlight on the bowling team. And I have your weekly sports updates. Let's get into this week's news. This Friday, the seniors met with Mr. Bradshaw to discuss Senior Assembly and some other class affairs. The meeting took the entire day and had the seniors head to the auditorium after homeroom. At the meeting, the recipient for the Excellence in Teaching Award was selected, who will be revealed at the assembly. The seniors also took pictures of themselves to submit to the assembly, and Mr. Pike took photos of students from certain towns as well. We look forward to seeing the event come to fruition in May. Last Friday, we went to check out the Wakona Varsity Bowling Team as they participated in a county tournament that finished in a championship between the two best teams in order to give them our community spotlight. The tournament had many contending schools around the county, with McCann taking a win against Lee and PHS taking a win against Iconic in the first round, with Wakona and Drury getting the bye through the first round as well. In the second round, we got to see Wakona play McCann in a six-game series, where through their hard work and the crowd's spirit behind them, they won four out of the six games in a series total of 1,136 to McCann's 992. Also in the second round, Jury defeated PHS, so both Jury and Wakona moved on to the championship round. After losing the first game in the championship, Wakona went on to win the next four games, securing them the victory with a series total of 1,067 to Drury's 1,002. We would like to congratulate the Wakona Varsity Bowling Team for their achievements and the hard work they put in this year. This week in sports, last week the boys basketball team won against Murdoch in a 73-51 match with Kevin Huben scoring an impressive 32 points during that game. With this victory, the boys would then head to the Western Mass Division III semifinals. At those semifinals, Wakona sadly lost against Narragansett with a score of 63-59. to However, there were some good plays by Huben and Griffin Salvini during that match. The girls basketball team took a strong win over Sabas with a score of 75-25. to Wakona came in with a strong start with some particularly strong plays by Noel Furlong, Maria Gambaroni, and Morgan Marzowski. On Saturday, the hockey team saw a victory against Amherst Pelham in a 3-1 game with two of those points being scored by Ryan LaPierre. And in the state meet for Alpine Ski, Wakona is represented by Cecilia Dunham as one of the Berkshire County's top finishers, as according to the I Berkshires, alongside Alex Sternerup. Those are our stories for this week. We hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please be sure to like and subscribe, as well as check out other videos on the DCTV channel. You can also look in the description for social media and a survey for suggestions. Thank you for joining us this week. This has been Zach, Ryan, and Lucas bringing you Wakona Weekly. See you next week.